Welcome back to FOMO Czar, where we research everything crypto. Before I begin today's episode, I'd like to make a short disclaimer. I'm obviously not a financial advisor. That being said, take everything I say with a grain of salt and always do your own research. I was going to do uh, this uh, little series in uh, order, but then I'm just like, who gives? And uh, I just thought that I'd cheat my way and uh, go ahead to Liquid Driver just because it's the beginning of the year and uh, we should probably start off with uh, some of these uh, sweet sweet gains you know but anyways so just from yesterday and uh, today the yeah liquid driver just uh, refuses to correct itself because uh, the way that the tokenomics is shaped it literally just keeps pumping the price it is crazy these guys are geniuses for reals like uh it's a it's not an exaggeration so um let's basically uh, cover what's actually going on in uh, liquid driver in uh in a humanly manner so we actually understand it and uh, understand why it is giving us everything that is giving us you know because it's it keeps giving and some people have no idea why it's giving right they think it's a ponzi it is not a ponzi this is a, this is how you're supposed to uh, run a protocol um but yeah there's a dow coming uh as well i believe so uh lots of lots of uh more stuff uh, coming for liquid driver a liquid driver is definitely not done it's uh run up in my opinion right i'm obviously not a financial advisor but you know i'm just an enthusiast and uh, that's just what i think because of what i see right so this is where we're starting out at or uh, anyone that would basically be introducing themselves to this this ecosystem that liquid driver is basically adding into um, they have the choice of either uh, buying the liquid driver token and uh, providing it as a stake in the x lqdr pool which uh, they have the choice of locking it up from uh, two weeks to uh, two years being the max time and uh, according to the time that they choose they basically receive a uh, appropriate proportion for uh, the x lqdr token in return so for example uh if you did two years you would receive one to one ratio of x lqdr this is exactly why people have been uh, choosing uh two years because uh the difference between uh two weeks and uh, two years in the terms of x lqdr is about a hundred times so that's why uh they were incentivized to uh, lock it up for two years, right? It's not just because they're just apes, right? If you understand uh, what's actually going on behind the screen, you'll you'll see what's, why people are actually uh, FOMOing in, right? And they will keep continuing to do so as well, you know, um, just because it's a positive feedback loop and uh, the only time... Uh, you might see some correction is uh, when uh, these uh, LQDR tokens are being released after two years, assuming people don't keep uh, extending their period of lockup, which I am. I, I don't know about anybody else, right? But I like LQDR. It's cool. You know, you get your initial load and then it's just a cash cow. But moving on from uh, if you did not lock up your... Uh, LQDR and you're like uh, I don't uh, I think the tokens already done like uh, <laughs> a 6x since uh, two weeks so I think that you know who knows right I don't I don't want to expose myself to a risk like that some might someone might think like that right so uh, for a person like that they could be farming LQDR so they would not be exposing themselves right so in this loop they'd be basically providing liquid liquidity for lqdr with uh, just any other lp 
right? So you could go on the farm and you could find out what LPs you could be providing to earn that LQDR. So you could have Spirit, you could have uh, Phantom. You're earning 118% on uh, Phantom and FUSDT. FUSDT is just a stable coin on Phantom, right? So earning that just to basically stake Phantom with uh, a stable coin is 118% on the LQDR token, right? So it's actually, it's, it's, it's pretty good. You know, it's not like uh, you're getting a uh, chump change. You're getting, you're getting juicy, juicy rewards. There's a reason why people are FOMOing in. And that FOMO is just making those rewards even more juicier. Like, it's crazy. I think, uh, I think uh, this is uh, probably going to be a big, huge catalyst for uh, locking liquidity in Phantom. Because uh, this is nuts. So anyways, you have two choices, right? You can uh, provide uh, whatever LP you want and or you could be uh, providing a LQDR token straight up, right? So if you provided uh, the LPs, you would be basically re getting rewards in LQDR from those staking uh, pools. Like for example, the Phantom was receiving 118% a year. So you would receive a daily yield based off of 118% for the year and that yield can be fluctuating up or down based on uh, whatever it's showing you right and whatever is actually going on in the market and in liquid driver but anyways so the these guys uh, provide the lp and uh, they farm lqdr okay and they get compensated for that. But basically, what is uh, going on? Why are they receiving LQDR? And what happens with their funds while uh, they are uh, like providing the yield for it? Like, why are they providing the yield, right? So these staking pools are then in control with a liquid driver and they basically manage them, right? So uh, for example, they'll take like the spirit LP uh, and they'll put it in uh, in spirit swap right and uh, they'll basically earn even more yield on top of that right so basically uh, you're uh, getting rewards from the emissions of these tokens that is basically basically like uh, allocated for that certain pool or uh, for that X LQDR you're all you're receiving that but on top of that you're going to receive any other bonus uh, that the protocol will be receiving from uh, its partners like spirit swap spooky um abracadabra grim finance or beethoven or yoshi or whatever could be anything right so these rewards they don't get sent to uh, these uh, LP providers, though. Okay, these guys only get LQDR. And they have the choice of selling it to the market and uh, just being like, haha, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a very uh, conservative, safe farmer. And uh, my uh, humbleness has uh, got me through uh, many uh, cycles, right? And he would be the king of uh, maintaining uh, the least risk and getting the nicest rewards. But these rewards then basically get sent to a revenue sharing vault, right? Um, this vault basically returns it back to the users who basically had XLQDR. Everyone that's holding XLQDR gets this. So that's where Everyone's basically, uh, who are they feeding? They're feeding everyone that is providing uh, LQDR uh, tokens to uh, lock up. So everyone that's holding XLQDR is getting all these extra rewards. So let's say these farmers wanted to take a little bit more risk. And they're like, hey, I want to maintain uh, my liquidity in my hands because uh, the LPs are not locked. You can withdraw them unlike uh, the LQDR. So these guys have uh, the least risk and they're farming LQDR. Now they can just choose to uh, take that LQDR and just lock it up for two years. 
right? So now they're not only just uh, creating a nice uh, little stream of LQDR that's being generated from these pools, but on top of that, they've also uh, taken those rewards and compounded them into this uh, this mechanism as well, right? So now they're receiving uh, rewards from both sides, essentially, right? Because uh, if you uh, look at the current rewards, right? The current rewards, because uh, the partners do change up. So if we go on XLQDR, the current partners are as, uh, you know, as it shows. So we're getting this from uh, just the emissions. We're getting a Phantom because uh, they have a deal with Phantom, partners and all that. Boo is the same thing. Uh, Lin Spirit is uh, from Spirit Swap. And uh, Spell is from Abracadabra, right? Yeah. But, anyways. Some like that, man. You know? But, so these... Uh, these end up uh, changing over time, in my opinion, right? Because uh, as uh, as blocks are produced and uh, time progresses, rewards uh, run out of one pool and they have to be uh, re-voted on, right? Because uh, it runs on like a voting mechanism as well, right? Like uh, if you're in a Phantom, you'll uh, you'll realize that there's a lot of governance going on, you know? Like a lot of governance going on. But anyways, so that's basically what's going on. That is why the price of LQDR keeps going up because they're, people are locking up the LQDR token as soon as they get it. Nobody is trying to sell it because they, they see the positive feedback loop and eventually, eventually there will be be a equilibrium point where uh, the price does uh, kind of like settle out when people are like okay okay I'm making way too much money on a daily that I, I should probably decrease my risk you know whenever that comes yeah then maybe uh, you know you'll start to see a little bit more uh, liquidity uh, hit the market for uh, LQDR but as of right now this is what the stats look like Right. Um, right. So yeah, the circulating supply is uh three point three million, right? And the total locked is two point one million. That's about sixty five percent of the total supply is locked up. It is locked up. That is nuts. Either that, either that, or. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's like a, it's like five million, and uh, two point one is locked up, which is still like forty percent is locked up, and that's like the total supply. But I'm not sure. So that's why you know, do your own research, man. Don't take my word for it. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just collecting my yield. But, yeah, there's a bunch of farms. Um, you can even stake Spirit on here and receive 94%, which is nuts. But, yeah, Liquid Driver is insane, guys. Um, if it does ever retrace, I, I am planning on buying another bag because it has not come down yet. It has literally just been uh, climbing. No joke. Like, you want to see the chart for it? I'll show you the chart for it. Okay, whatever. No, you don't want to show me? That's not nice. 
But yeah, what do you guys think? You guys uh, think that uh, Phantom's gonna keep going up like this? I don't know. Me personally, I think uh, I think Phantom uh, has a uh, fun DeFi, but I think uh, Phantom's gonna get too expensive very soon if uh, the price keeps going up, which it, it it will. The price will keep going up for Phantom because it's such a low market cap, and eventually it will become uh, too expensive to do DeFi for. So yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. What do you guys think? See? See? I was not joking, man. Can't make this bigger. Okay, whatever. Okay, this is irritating. Okay. I don't know why I didn't do this in the first place. So, Liquid Driver, basically, we kind of got in at the bottom. Kind of, almost at the bottom. The real bottom would be at like 185. So, basically, we're looking for a retracement. So, if it comes down to like 7 bucks even... That's what is that considered a retracement? That's crazy. That's called going parabolic, by the way, guys. When it just goes like this, and it's just like I don't know, I don't know, I don't see, I don't see it ever correcting, man. I don't get it. I don't get it. That's crazy. That's why I say I got super, super lucky when. Uh, when I did make that video, because I made that video like right here. This this is when I made the video, right? Like like right here. But anyways. Yeah, shout out wrecked fr uh, wrecked food farmer. That's the that's the guy that plugged me in. You know, uh crazy DeFi strategy is this guy. You know, so uh, as soon as uh, I had it on my radar so he got in around here. As soon as I had it on my radar, I made a video about it right away. Of course. Because I love you guys. So, uh, if you love me back, subscribe to the channel, man. <laughs> like the video. And uh, and uh, we're off to a very, very good new year. So, I'm going to make a video tomorrow as well. Uh, just because I want to basically cover everything else that we did uh, go over this year. So, uh, we do have a little bit of a recap and where we stand. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. So tune in for that.